Welcome, fourth graders, to another video cast or test review. Today we're going to be talking about electric circuits. Okay. First thing you should probably know is what is a circuit. Very simply, a circuit is just the path that the electricity flows. Okay. If you want to think of it like a racetrack, the road is the circuit. The cars is the electricity. Okay? That's it. It's just the path on which the electricity flows. Right? Now, there's a couple different kinds of circuits. Okay? You have the series circuit. The best way that I can kind of help you to think about that is just a circle racetrack. All the cars go in the exact same direction. There is no changing paths. It's just a circle. Okay, once again, there's no changing paths. There's no splitting routes. It's not like I could go right or left. It's just a circle. That's called a series circuit. The other kind of circuit is a parallel circuit. You can see here that there are different paths that the electricity can flow upon. It's not just a simple circuit or a simple circle, but there are different paths that the electricity can flow on. There's more than one path. That's it. There's just more than one path here, whereas in over here, it's just one path. It's a circle. Okay. So once again, a parallel circuit, just looking at your notes, is a circuit in which the electrical current flows through more than one path. Path. Okay, how does the electricity get to our house? Okay, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's really in the book, but it's kind of interesting to think about. Okay, here's your house here. The electricity comes from a power plant. I don't know if you can see that very well with the notes, but it says PP. This is just a power plant. The electricity flows along the electrical lines along the road, along the street. You can see all these little houses here the electrical wire, then the electricity goes into your house, down into the walls of your house, and it comes, and then there's two little holes that come out of your electrical socket, okay? That's just a continuation of the, um, the connector. We'll talk a little bit about it later, but this, the path, is the connector or the circuit. So the two little holes that come out of your house is really just a continuation of the series or a continuation of the connector. Okay, let's. I might as well discuss that now. There's different parts here of a circuit. There's the source, that's the battery. There is a switch, that turns it off or on. If it's open, it's off because it's not connecting anymore. The cars can't continue on the path because the road is broken, it's open, so the cars cannot continue on the path. The electricity cannot continue. If it's closed, then the electricity is on because the electricity can continue to flow. So that's the switch that opens or closes it, turns it off, open, or on, closed. And then you have the load, that is the thing that you're trying to light up, okay? So when the electrical wire, when the electricity comes into your house, and then there's the electric, electrical socket. That is basically the circuit or the connector. And then when you plug something in, you're basically just continuing the circuit or continuing the connector. Okay? So keep that in mind. So we've talked about the different parts of a circuit. We've talked about a series circuit. We've talked about a parallel circuit. Voltage is the strength of the electrical charge. How much electricity is flowing, okay? That is called the voltage, and you can see the vice up there, Mr. P's cannons, okay? His 18 and a half inch biceps is the strength or the power of the source, all right? Um, quick, while I'm thinking about it too, why does the electricity flow along the path, okay? Well, remember what we talked about before in the static electricity lesson. Positive and negative things are attracted to one another. Okay? 
So you can see here a battery has plus and minus terminals. So the electricity, the, these positive guys, want to get over to the negative side because, once again, they like each other. If you want to think about it like that. But the positive side, the only way to get over to the negative side is by traveling along this path. So the positive side keeps going over there because it's, it continues to be attracted to the negative side. So the positive side keeps on going over there. I'm attracted, oh, I'm attracted, I'm attracted, I'm attracted, and that's how the power continues to flow because it continuously wants to get over to the other side. It keeps on flowing. Uh, I believe that is about it. We've talked about electric current. I haven't uh, talked about it as far as what's on the notes here. But electric current is just the flow of electrical charges. Oh, resistance. Okay. Why do things start to heat up, like your light bulb or your oven stove? Okay. Basically, it's called resistance. All right. Now, the metal basically comes to a point, okay, where it's like, okay, I'm, it's going to stop here. The light bulb stops, okay? Or the metal on the stove is the end of the electrical flow, okay? So what happens is the resistance stops the energy, okay? But as it's stopping it, it's like heating up because it's like, stop, stop. But the electrical flow keeps on going. But the resistor, the metal, the resistance, is trying to hold it back, okay? The longer it tries to hold it, hold it back, the more heat it gets, the hotter it gets. So you can maybe think of it like weights. If somebody put, was putting weights on you, the more, the longer you try to hold it up, the more your arms are going to start burning, okay? Same thing. The longer the metal starts to resist the electrical flow, the hotter it's going to get. So when you're using your stove, when you turn turn up the heat, you're basically adding resistance. You're like, I want you to resist more. The more you resist, the more your arms are going to burn, the hotter it's going to get. When you turn the heat down, the, you're saying, metal, I want you to resist less. When you resist less, it's a lot easier on your arms, and the metal doesn't get as hot. Okay, So that's kind of how your stove works in terms of resistance. Okay. Hopefully this lesson has helped you. You watch it. You're ready to go for the uh, test. And I look forward to seeing you guys in science class.